Welcome back to Mama 4. I am Kara, and I had a request to do a day in the life of homeschool kid. So, we're going to see how this goes. For one, I got a teenager that so moody. One minute he nice and happy, next minute he sad or angry. So, Let's hope this is a good morning. And then he's not a morning person. Once I wake him up, he grouchy. So I'm going to tilt. I might have to do all the talking because he probably ain't going to tell you anything or what it's like or what. But I'm going to start by getting my other kids up first. So I guess Carly ain't in her room. Oh. Carlton. Oh, he got baby monkey in his mouth. Zay don't have a cover on his bed. He took it off. Carlton. Carlton. It's time to wake the dragon. And I'm not talking about this painting. What a lot Just do it. Okay, Nike. Mama. Y'all didn't get the trash to the curb last night. Gotta get it to the curb now. So, I get this ready for my non morning kid. In a while, it snowed y'all last night. We went from sunny skies and parks and playgrounds to snow. So I normally open this window, let some light in. So this is my home stu school student little desk setup. A little chair for when I sit in with him. He got a printer on that side. That paper hanging up has some um, phone number and email addresses on that form. This paper there that was colored. My camera stand sitting on his desk. Got a picture where he was a little baby. I thought that was a good spot to put it. Okay, next up, I turn his computer on and I set up his attendance. I'm going to turn y'all around so y'all can see what I'm doing. Um, Don't worry when y'all see the screen go blurry. It's not because your phone is messing up. When I edit, anytime I have information that I, private information that I don't want to share, I just blur the screen. So... If y'all ever look at my screen, y'all think that it lost focus. It was probably me. Okay. And we wait for the boot up. Good morning, Carlton. Good morning. I think your sister needs you to go downstairs to get some school clothes with her. I already replaced, replaced your school clothes in your drawer yesterday. Go ahead and sign in. Then I just go to online school. And if you want to know the terms and agreements of using it K through 12, if you can see that, just pause it and read through it. So everything I need to do or my student, the student need to do, I go in through here. Even though he used his blackboard a lot to speak to his teachers, I'll go in through here and I can get to the blackboard. You can even get to customer service and stuff like that through here. So I just, this is all I do on this computer. I don't do no extra stuff. Is that Apple? Can you 
Okay, what you got in your mouth? Alright, so then you just log in. Um, when you're using your own laptop, you can have it remember your passwords and stuff for you. So, the screen I'm in right now is for Mama homeschooling part. I'm going to hop over to the learning coach, which is most likely the parent, but it can be whoever is chosen to be the learning coach has the input and tendence. And then you can see messages and what the kid's schedule is. I don't worry about that part because when I go in through Mama schedule, I can see the same thing. So, Mm. We'll get your clothes on. He won't be trying to take your towel. Okay, so I'm going to go to my info. It's where I'm going to get to the learning coach section. And then it's asking me to sign in again. When I sign in, I put in Who my user ID and password. So right here is where I will go since I have a high schooler and I click here and it gives me the option to do attendance. I normally do attendance at the beginning of the day that way I can get it done even on the days I work. Because when I get off work my mind is gone while it won't is sleep. So I'm just going to go to the part where it said attendance. This is all I need in this part. And I just click on here and it automatically adds 60 minutes. And voila, seven hours of class. I'm going to save it. Once I save it, I just leave out of the screen. I do is I close everything back down. And I go back to online school again. I sign him back in. Go to my schedule. Over here in events, it's telling me that he has class from 9 to 9.40 and then a class from 9.45 to 10.30. One lucky kid. But that don't mean nothing. They could feel teachers could feel this in later. They may thought that they wasn't gonna be there, or they could have forgot to put it on the schedule and stuff like that. So you still have to keep an eye on that. And it's telling me that it's required. They do have some classes that say optional. So besides him being in a blackboard meeting, speaking to teachers, watching teachers on video chat, and chatting with other kids, um. He still has this work to do. Some of this stuff where it said like the 301, 302, today is April 15th. So those assignments says 4.15 and stuff like that. But Mama started the school March 18th. So this is stuff that was on here before he started, but I think it still want him to do it. And he haven't got it all done yet. I was pushing him to get it done over spring break, and he didn't. So if you got a hard-headed kid and trying to do homeschool, will run your blood pressure up with getting them to get stuff done that they should get done. So yeah. this is all the stuff he has to do today. It may seem like a lot, but just remember, some of this stuff right here is behind. Even that right there is behind. That's behind. That's overdue. That's overdue. These are just new stuff for today. Some of the stuff he click on it. It's an audio book. Listen to. This is just a survey. This is an introduction to something. It's probably just going to have um, PowerPoints and stuff. So some of the stuff. A lot of this stuff right here. This like some questions you gotta answer. This is probably a PowerPoint. This is a survey. This is an audio book. This is probably gonna be a PowerPoint. I'm sure this is a PowerPoint. This is a recording. Women on the move. So he must 
he might have missed this class one day and he got to go back into it or it's a PowerPoint or the teacher was could have been absent that day and just did a recording instead of class connect. Um, this is look like a PowerPoint maybe with an assignment in it. I don't know. PowerPoint, PowerPoint assessment. It's probably going to go over some materials and some questions he got to do and the quiz he needs to do, another quiz and probably a PowerPoint. This is a quiz, a quiz, quiz, quiz. They can check out weekly announcements. So I'm going to click on um this one hmm I can't click on that one can't click on that one so I have to go probably go into the class itself or email the teacher to be able to do that one again <laughs> so these right here in blue I can't click on so let's see what this is about okay. alright so we're going to do this so this is a video. I don't know. It just stopped on its own. The smell went away. Hey everyone, Mrs. Green here. This is the how to like step by step sure the for the 4.09 lab, um, sunrise and sunset step by step directions. I'm very sorry that I am not asking you uh, to walk you through this, but this video is going to be just like we do in class. Please watch this video. We're actually going to do some of the lab together at the end of this, this session. It's just basically, this is exactly like what we would do in class. Um, but we're going to do that on this recording. So please make sure that you do watch this in full because you will get help at the end on how to do this lab. We'll walk through the last, uh, we'll walk through questions one, two, and three together on how to do this. All right. I'm not going to have this whole thing played, but this is how some of his classes go. Um, I forgot to show y'all that he has a mic and a headset for when he needs to participate in the class connects and talk to the teachers. Um, I'm actually going to back out of this. I'm not going to have the whole thing play because he needs to hear this to Mom, can you fix my shoe? And, um... These kids are about to, I got to finish helping these kids get out the door. I'm saying these kids like it ain't my kids. I got to help my other kids get ready for school. And then after that, I am going to do a CrossFit class. And they have a late start today. So the time that they bus come is basically almost the same time I need to leave ahead. The CrossFit hey, hey, hey. 10 minutes. Oh, I forgot. I need to break my fast before... The gym, oh, no. and I'm gonna drink some muscle milk. So I need to go make my shake. Well, no. When Mama first class starts at nine o'clock, I will not be here. So I just leave his screen up. It's already booted up, and up and running for him, so he can just go right to class. He normally comes sit down, probably about five minutes before class. He comes sit here. He normally don't do nothing, but probably just use the bathroom before you come to class. He don't be there and get dressed or brush teeth or anything. He just comes sit in his chair. And normally around 11 o'clock is when he will go look for something to eat or get some clothes on or something. So I'm going to see if he can do some vlogging for y'all. Wow, I'm at the gym, and while he doing the science, who knows? It's first thing in the morning, and I have a teenager, so. Yeah, you got chewing that feet rock, young blood. Yeah, you ain't getting out of here, young blood. I got your teeth where you can't even let go. You want something, young blood? You are killed me to death now, right? Young man. Young man. I'll make you mad. All right. I'm sorry. I'll let you get a chance, actually. Yeek, young man. Mom. Call him in the mouth block. 
Oh, he got his teeth stuck. I know. Stop, stop, stop. That's in my face, me on blood. Me on blood. <laughs> I'm outside. He didn't know. <laughs> He's supposed to be working. It's a day in the life of a homeschool kid. What class you in right now? Uh, my last class. Oh, you got breakfast? Was you saving breakfast for me to get back? No. Is that why you got two pop tarts? No. Lined up, waiting on me to get back to come have breakfast with him. No. Which one mine? The heart? No. I licked on both of them. I eat it anyway. No, I bet you would. <laughs> Did you vlog any? Which one vlog any? The day in the life. I told you I was doing day in the life on a Monday. No, I am. What? That's what they were saying. Oh my gosh, Nathan, my husband's yeah. allergies were so no. bad yesterday. This is my last class. I didn't do nothing yet. Yeah. So, what they're talking so about? Lovely. I consider myself very grateful. I really don't How did we do that? You know, this has something right there. <laughs> Did she say that we can that it, we can check the grades? Uh uh. Oh. So she probably just wanted to know: Did you show up? How well did you feel? Did you feel like you did good? All right. Or maybe. Well, shall we get uh, get to it? Did they add any more classes to your agenda today? Cause you only had those two classes. Nope. Just those two classes. It's like you got a lot of work to do, though. I went at one of them. It looked like a lot of them is PowerPoints. Um, you got like three quizzes, I seen. So you supposed to still do that stuff even when you don't have class connect. And this is where King sits every morning while Marmar is doing his work. He sit down here with Marmar. Yeah. Until I come get him and take his work. Mm. When is Memorial Day? Uh, the last Monday in May. And don't got school off this Friday? Yep. It's good Friday this week. So no school today. Normally he give me five and I get him a treat. But right now he's just trying to play. He likes to bite. That's how he play with kids. I guess how he would play with another puppy. And when he bite, he don't never draw blood. He never leaves a print behind. He just put his mouth like this. And then so he about to bite my mouth too. This is basically a day in the life of a homeschool kid. If he don't have classes all day, then he has other work that he do on his own all day and he needs to total seven hours worth of school work so what happened on a day like today if it was nicer which i still may do it anyway is go on a bike ride that's why i got the bikes in the living room he can go on a bike ride with me he can run some errands with me and then when he get back he know he got these assignments to make up um and he can make it up all day. Like, it don't have to be between a certain hour. And this is basically a day in the life of a homeschool kid. Anything else you want to add? Bummer? All right. I have to look up the channel name or the person name. I don't think they have content that asks me about the day in the life. Because they said that they will be doing it for 8th grade next school year. Homeschooling. This is through a public school. They send you your computer, your laptop, your mic that goes with your computer. Um, your computer, your laptop. Your printer. Hopefully. Your printer, your, co your laptop, your headset. And Marmar got a class. He's actually in class right now. He's just listening. He ain't doing nothing. But... Sometimes the teachers might ask 
kids to put stuff on a board like y'all seen. Sometimes they ask the kids to read. They might put something up on the board and they ask the kid to read. And the kid can literally use their mic to read, to participate. Oh, yeah. They get books and stuff. They send them novels and that's a history book and other stuff like that. When it comes to testing, we go to a state certified testing site. And the one that we have is about 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes away from our house in a city called Fenton. It's actually the same city where we went and got Mr. King from. And the ladies, the staff members that was there signing y'all in for testing, some of those were y'all teachers, right? Yeah, some of those were his teachers. Um, he actually ran into two other kids that he knew from his previous school, his K-12 school. I mean, K-8 school, the school that Zay and the twins go to. Um, he's seen them, just seen them. Uh, um, what else? He over there printing out. What's the name of that dude? Deadpool. Deadpool. He's scanning it because he finna print another copy to color, I guess. What else am I missing? Classes that's oh social biz. They have meetups. I don't know when your next meetup is. I could schedule the day off to do your meetup. Oh I seen that because they probably passed through. You probably gotta email your teacher. So go to the ones you can do for now. Um you email your teacher anytime you need help. It come through on my phone. You look at Messenger because I never put your email. Oh. Mm. Um what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, the social groups. The social groups, I don't think, are mandatory, but it's fun for the kids to get some socialization there. And any other questions you have about it, um, leave down below. I'll try to answer it because this is new to me. Today is April 15th. And his first day of homeschool was March 18th. So we little, we almost at a month. So that's how much knowledge I have. So that's a beginner mom point of view, a day in life. There is some other moms that I follow. Um, another one is a newly mom to homeschool. She started maybe about a few weeks before me. And that would be Jazz Marie. Her channel name is Faith Homeschool Mom. Or something like that. I link it. And then we have another mom that got a little more hits up than me. She's been doing it for, I guess, going on two years now, which would be Leslie Priest. So I link her channel. You can check her out and leave her a comment under any one of her videos about questions about homeschool. She'll be happy to answer or maybe do a video for you. And then there is Vegan Fit Fam. She's been homeschooling her kids, I believe, all their life. Her oldest is about 11 or 12. I could be wrong. But feel free to leave her a message under any one of her videos. And she will be happy to answer. She normally reply right away. And if you need a video on it, she will be more than happy to do a video on it. And that's it. So, my mom finally got his other ear pierced. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. He's just a kid that belonged to a mama for.